Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Clouding. Every time we rebuild something, someone comes out and destroys something else, so we just gotta try our best to keep moving forward and continue rebuilding the world. So, back inside the Sun and Moon Temple I go. Alright, the plan for this episode is floors 2 through 5. And after I get through with floor 8, I do plan. Well, I plan on doing floors 6 through 9 after this episode. Ooh. Abs reduction. And a new enemy, Bomberhead. Oh, man. And I did forget to buy Adrian's Fever between episodes, also, so. And of course, the bomber. Ooh, and looks like I get myself an attachment. Mace Slayer, okay. I'm looking for a King Slayer. The earlier I get one, the better. I gotta remember floor two on my list of floors to skip. I need a stone key for that. Hopefully, I don't need one. What to talk about for this episode? All right, got a map. So as long as I get that. All right. So that's it for bombs. Uh, Bomber head has to block every single time I throw an object on. Bomber heads and a mummy. All right, got the king slate, so I don't have to worry about getting the that key unless there's a antla behind there. Behind there. <sighs> yeah, at the time of this recording, I I've been putting in my grind for for trying to reach a hundred miles in love. Based on the calculations I've done, I'm about two thirds of the way, to, close to two thirds of the way there, and I got eleven days. To Eleven and a half days to go. And by the time this video's up, it'll be it should be Monday, so. So hopefully by then I'm past 70 miles. It's about to grind. And as long as I maintain a certain pace, I'll achieve the goal. Now, I'm not sure what else I really want to talk about. I'm, I'm trying to think of what I want to do next after I complete the game. I mean, there is a post game, but I've never done it before. I can't find a magical crystal, I can, I can get certain 
certainty to what I'm trying to do for this level. And at least the gold drops are going to be slightly helpful. Don't run to the explosion, otherwise you will take damage. I got some bomb nuts that might help me. All right, a mini totem pole. Yeah, those are going to be helpful once I start rebuilding Muscalaska. Um, or Muscalaka. All right, so don't have to worry. Just one treasure chest. Hmm, red bean. And yeah, I need to put fire attachment on. Yeah, if you don't hit that crystal, um, you basically lose. It. Some. Oh, oh, there's the stone key. Okay, let me get this last atla and I can move on. Alright, got a cabin. Avoid that bomber head. I think it's a good idea to use close ring attacks on it. Alright, let's go a bit further down. Ah, no limit more. That's good. this way. Alright, that's the way down. Alright, there's that lot on this floor. Alright, get Chipubu. Oh, great. I locked myself into an attack pattern, and that's what I get. Alright, another prickly. So, it's telling me I should try and fish up soon. Yeah, if I were better at fishing, I'd probably have more attachments. Well, more jewel attachments ready to go, but I'm not that good at fishing, so I'm stuck. Well, so I... So it's been taking me a bit longer, and that's why I use my base weapons for... For Sim Spears. Build those up. Ooh, anti-curse amulet. Road. Road of Redemption? I don't know. I got a map. And, hmm. yeah, I want to take care of this. Need some. Yeah, I better heal up 
too. Sorry, Bomber Kid. No team slate yet. Ooh, magical crystal. Yeah, I am going to have to go back that way anyway. Alright, Epitan. Earliest in a dungeon to end up with mimics so far. All right, got a repair powder. Ooh, now I get the Drans Pepper. What a lucky drop that was. All right, I got a sign. In it's mimic number three. Seriously, this room was basically an Atla and pre mimic. But that Drans Forever drop is a okay with me. Now I just need the King Slate. Bomber head is not ideal for melee. Ooh, I got a bomb, so. Yeah, that's one way you can farm gear for attachments. Farm to get the bombs for your attachments. I won't be able to keep my stamina going because I have to get this antler first. Yeah, it's a bomber head. No reason for me to deal with it. Unless I need another mace slayer drop. into the temple we go and we get a little chat with Theo and Billy or Ungaga if you're deciding not to change names yeah what do you mean hmm you're not weak you just had a bad day. Part of being strong isn't always winning. It's overcoming challenges. It's realizing there are obst obstacles that have to be overcome before you can truly be strong. And part of that strength comes from confidence. It seems like Billy has no confidence right now. Yeah, you just 
All you need is a greenling. Look, you can be strong too. So this one's a first zone. All right, got another bomb. Yeah, I'll keep bombs on the ready. Secret path key. Yeah, I, I was looking for that. That's the item that takes you to the back floors. So maybe I'll just save it for later for either a grind session or. Or if I feel the need to get more. This needs some strength, and maybe I should. All right, so I need more than thirty-three. So maybe I should go back and get those topazes I had, had stored away. Good work. Ooh. Bad. On my part. Two secret path keys! Nice! This is gonna hopefully turn out well. Oh, and here's a new enemy the golem. Oh, I should show this because... Yeah, you don't have to worry much about golems wrecking your weapon... weapon HP. There we go. You just have to worry about being able to get close enough to hit them. You know what? I got plenty of hair powders right now. Yeah, and they're also not worth much weapon experience. Well, or abs. Hmm. Alright, I don't have that. I'm gonna guess poison. Ooh, it was an explosion. Like I said, I can live with the explosion. Ooh, a second battle axe. I think I know what I'll be working on next. Ooh, a mimic. Actually. Alright, got a mimic breaker. Yeah, bonds help. Alright, got a king slate. And I need to give my my cat lady a bit of water. This Atla. It's a tree. Alright, got a map. Finally. Alright, got a stone key. And conveniently, they have it right here. Yeah, I need to look up which floor would be more optimal for a grind session. That way I can get my weapons ready to go. I mean, 
I noticed the phantom behind me. Maybe I should go for the Mimic Breaker? Ooh. Alright, got the Repair Powder. That should... I should repair this. Yeah, no more bombs. I missed out on a chance at a Mimic Breaker, too. But I got enough of those to really warrant. Well, I got enough of those to really build up my next sin, sin sphere. And because, all right, there is an antler here. until I can take care of this mimic and just use the water. Yeah, the first meter is at the point where I should consider the, the premium waters. Ooh, wind gem. Thanks for the repair powder golem. Way I want to go with the golems. Alright, so I don't have any more to deal with. Ooh. But I need to give you more water. This is only four. Four. Got another repair powder. Oh, and those two treasure chests were mimics. It looks like such a waste. Yeah, I best get to floor five before I call in an episode. It looks like I've taken longer than I should. Maybe because I'm being thorough and making sure. Oh, it's squirrel, so. Yeah, this is a solo floor. Oh, Zach. I mean, as good as holy is, I might want to put ice on there. Alright, I'm doing a bit more damage. Alright, I might want to repair this soon. Actually, I want to see how well wind does. Wind does better. Mimic. Not good. I best repair this. Yeah, even with a high endurance, ooh, that mimic is taking quite a bit of my weapon hit points. Now, well, even there, I can't. Ooh. Yeah, 
this golem can slam the ground, or it can swing its fist round and round. Alright, so all I really have to do is find the key. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the battle axe. Ooh. Well, I know which one I need to keep now. And which one I need to turn into a sense sphere. I think the bell axe might be what I use to. Well, to, to upgrade my small sword. All it needs is attack. And the bell axe has plenty of attack for me to work with. Alright, magical crystal, so I can check this way. There's more stuff, but also more chances for a mimic. Actually, actually, good. Yeah, I'll stick to this one. Ooh, you have to dump the amulet. Oh, four wax with a hammer, does it? That's bad. That mimic blocking it dub <laughs> practically doubles whatever are you HP I lose. Alright, let's see. Alright, this one's a more of a smash the that until I can clear these enemies out. Hammers not so great. Ooh, and endurance plus one. Right, that takes care of those free golems. Not a mimic, but it is a cheese. And ah, will I get lucky again? Oh, the status changed on it. All right, so it lowered the attack. And that, and that's not good. I need to think about what else I need to put on some of my base weapons for, synth for synthesizing. And if I'm going to have a strong build me an ultimate weapon, and building an ultimate weapon is something I, I've never actually accomplished in all my time playing this game. these treasure chests. They're probably mimics anyway. <sighs> Let's put it this way. And lead 
save the dungeon for now. And let's see if Theo and Billy have any different dialogue. Oh, I'm guessing slightly different? Well, hopefully you get through to him, Theo. He doesn't seem to have a lot of confidence in himself. And maybe he went... Alright, got a gourd. Maybe once... Once I start rebuilding, which... I mean, I'm gonna do floors 6 through 9 next episode, and... After that, I'll start my rebuild. Well, start rebuilding the village. Actually, I'll check that later. But, yeah, I'm gonna call it an episode here, so... So, viewers, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, and hopefully I'll catch you next episode. So, until then, stay safe. Remember to wear a mask when out in public. Practice social distancing when possible, and have a good day, everyone.